Okay, so you're in the car and you've got somebody that hits that vehicle. So you've got that person that hits the vehicle. You could sue them. You can also sue the driver of the car that you were in, which can sometimes get complicated depending on the relationship of that person in your vehicle. And anybody else, if there's like another car that caused it, you've got that potential. So you've got quite a few uh, places you can go for the recovery of all of your injuries. And he said that it can be complicated when the passenger is suing the driver. And the reason for that is you imagine a situation where you're driving your girlfriend or wife to a dinner or, you know, your husband, whatever it may be. And you get into an accident, it was your fault. You weren't paying attention, you were maybe drunk, something along those lines. What that sets up is a scenario in which your significant other has to sue you. And while that may seem like a really jarring thing, I think the way that it usually plays out is everybody's on the same page. They understand and accept their responsibility in that. And they understand that it's really an insurance claim, not a direct attack on one another, but it can be uncomfortable. Right, and as a matter of fact, what you can do is limit yourself to just the insurance policy that uh, you know the driver has, so that you would make them more comfortable that you're not going to end up suing them. Right. You're just going to go to the limits of the insurance that they have. That's generally really what happens practically.